What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Kyle TV, Shot Squad Life, and we're back with another lit video. Without further ado, go ahead and hit that like, subscribe, comment, and share when you get done with the video. But in the beginning, I just need you to simply hit that like, subscribe, and turn that post notification bell on so that you can get content and all the latest access to all my content in every single day that I post. So the reason why I'm telling you guys is because I'm dropping banger after banger after banger after banger after banger after banger after banger and so on. Bangers. Um, if you are already following me and you know what's up, then you already know why I'm making this video. And judging by the title, God, why am I slurring so much? I don't know. But sorry about that, guys. A little dry around here. I'm going to have to get some uh, water because my mouth is drier than the Sahara Desert right now. Uh... I apologize deeply about that, but what was I saying? Okay, so you guys already know why I'm doing this video, because the last video that I made and that I obviously posted, which is why you're probably here. If not, then you're a new subscriber or watcher. Hence, you know, I'm trying to give it early in advance. You already see why I'm doing this video. I'm doing this video simply because one of these Glocks is better than the other with just one adjustment, but... I say only from a concealed carry standpoint, and if not from a concealed carry standpoint, with just the adjustment standpoint that you get what you would get with the other Glock. So you guys already know that this is the Glock 45 MO West Gen 5, but what is this bad boy? Look at the title, then you already know why we're here, and that is why we're doing a comparison. Let's go ahead and get into it without further ado. Boom, let it go and drop it out. So right off the bat, before we get into the comparison and what I think is the number one secret killer to why this one is better, this is the Glock 45 Gen 5 MOS. This is the Glock 43X MOS. Both come with the MOS plates, which stands for Modular Optic System. Now, what are the differences between these? Obviously, this one is shorter. Obviously, this one is bigger. No shit. If you don't like the uh, uh, French that I'm using, please come off the channel or... Let's be mature about it in adults because this is adult quality and I love it. I apologize if I offend anyone about the language, but that's just how I am. That is who I am. And that's what makes this channel so great. Thank you for taking the time to also stand here. But without further ado, let's continue to go on. I have another site for this one, but I did not put it on because it came off when I was shooting at the range and that gave me a huge distaste, which means that it was not for. And like a dummy, I went and bought something that looks nice, but doesn't fit it. If the price is right, hey, what can I say? I put it on another one and it did just fine all day. So this one is bigger slide and obviously bigger barrel and bigger uh, frame which is the handle. This one's gonna come with 17 rounds plus one. That's 18 total that you'll get. Save your life any day when you got a home defense gun. I recommend this one. That's the 45 MOS Gen 5 Glock. This one's only gonna come with, unfortunately, 10 rounds, which is a 10 stack. But there's a few things that you can do to upgrade that could also potentially help you weigh the out benefits of that versus this. They both come with, obviously, the chamber indicator, which I love that Glock did since you have no safety. I feel like if you make a firearm and you don't put some type of indicator that tells you that there's a round in the chamber, you officially screwed up. And that is what I'm going to drop in another video after I do the review of the G2 Total versus the 45. Because budget meets price or price meets budget or just budget meat durability who knows all right guys so looking at this both of these firearms are clear there's no rounds in the chamber they're good nice we got orange followers that we're going to be putting in all right tight so send them home look at that size difference you see that size difference like put them right here obviously that's a little bigger and it's not much muzzle away from it but it definitely makes a huge difference when you shoot and i get a lot more recoil in this one than i do with this one and that's because obviously that's the balance it out when you have that there um all i did on this one if you've seen the last video was obviously i put suppressor high night sights on it because glock stock sights are complete booty as you can see right there it looks like everything you can imagine for a cool modern warfare call of duty gun but truth be told when you line them sights up you're gonna have a lot more of a better chance to use these and they're more durable these are plastic they can break easily now what else so we talked about the barrel length right as you guys can see the barrel length is tremendously different uh and that's expected for a full-size handgun but if you want something that can compare it to this more which i'll do a review when i get it is the 48 mos versus this one um this is easy for concealed carry 
super easy for concealed carry. I love this thing when I conceal carry it, and that is why I conceal carry it. Um, but it's winter time, so in the winter time, I'm gonna use this because it's winter time. I can conceal it more easily. It sits comfortably in all my holsters, and I got more rounds. But dang, what also beats that and makes this one a better Glock for 43x MOS? Look at that sexiness. You see what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? I'm gonna tell y'all. And we just gonna go ahead and get straight into this nitty gritty Glock video. You know what makes this beat? Let me just go ahead and sit this down and let me give y'all a little preaching lesson because I don't think y'all truly understand the greatness of this. And I'm not saying this hands down beats this, but I'm saying if you, as far as like for a concealed carry standpoint and from a concealed carry standpoint, go ahead if you want to and shop online and grab that 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 15 round 17 round magazine for this that fits flush in here i forget who is by and that's a damn shame i'm making this video and i can't even tell y'all that because i know it but you know how you remember something and then you forget off the back that's what this is that round i think it's a um i think it's a sig uh arms magazine someone told me on one of my other videos but it fits perfectly in here and it comes out. The only thing is, it'll tear up that mag release if you don't get the metal mag release. Because the way it's made is, this part right here, it chips away if you use it on here. Um, but hands down, if you have all the same attachments you have on this Glock. On this Glock, right? On this one. All you need is a... You mean to tell me all you need is a damn 15 round, 17 round SIG arms uh, or SIG uh, magazine. And you're concealed carrying this bad boy, and it is not a single stack, but double stack for a subcompact. Holy shit, you got it beat. Now, why they don't have it in this video? Because I did not buy it. But I'm going to show y'all in another video, y'all. I promise y'all. That's the least I can do for y'all. And I guarantee you I will give that to you guys so you guys can see what I'm talking about. And I will compare it then, and I will show you then why I think it has it beat. From a concealed carry standpoint, literally, this is perfect. Like, you have control. Like... It's small. You got that full grip if you got small hands. But that's why some people prefer the 19, which I'll also do a review for. Some people prefer the 19 because the grip is too small. But that magazine, when you put it in, it's going to look exactly like this. There's no round in the chamber, so don't freak out, all right? But it's going to fit exactly the same just like this, bro. Like, come on. you telling me I get way more rounds. Not only do I get way more rounds... I may pay a little bit more money to get that metal mag release and that magazine for like there, I think $39.99 each, but I can conceal it just as I would with this, but have more bulk to it. Bro, who's going to beat that? And you got the same capabilities with the RMR when you put it on the modular optic system, same capabilities, same capabilities. You can't tell me that you can beat this. That means the time to draw to the holster from the distance is shorter. That also means that the rounds you get off is the same equivalent as to a Glock 19 stack. Uh, so that actually, you know what? That's probably what it will be. It can beat this one even with a two round difference. But who's going to check about two rounds? And not only that. You get all the features you would on a regular Glock except a little bit more kick. But hey. If it's small and it got a little bite to it, she feisty. If it's big and it got no recoil, game ain't weak. It's just simply beast mode. That's all I can say to that. Um, I shot this for the first time in the recoil uh, when I did take it out to shoot uh, a couple of months ago or a couple of weeks ago because I told you I hadn't broken it in yet in my other video. And it was amazing. Like, man, the kick that it had made me feel like I was shooting some heavy powwow shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, it had me up there, bro. Like, I'm not going to cap. And for it to have the kick that it has with this gun because it has a shorter barrel, it's not as bad as I've seen with other guns like 45 ACPs. But there's a 1911 that's about the same size as this, and the recoil is sexy on there. But this little thing packs a punch when you shoot. It ain't like a 380. It's a 9 millimeter, but it's that great, amazing grip for your preference type, as you can see. See how I have this grip on here, y'all? And when I come down, I'm gonna switch hands for y'all, for y'all that are right-handed. Finger off the trigger until you're ready to fire. And education is safety first. But it has that amazing grip. Like, just look at it. Look how it's fitting so well in my hand. And I didn't even have to do any adjustments up under the um, uh, 
mag release and uh, the uh, trigger guard. Like I didn't have to do any adjustments. And it concealed carries so wonderful. Check this out. So you got a, let's say, let's pretend this is the uh, 17 five round or 15 round magazine. Literally the same features as this one but easily concealed carryable. And 223 Bucky said in his video that like, you know, I feel like as a man, you need to have a big gun because you know, like that means like, I personally feel like guns are for female. 223 Bucky, I watch you all the time. I love your videos, but let me tell y'all why I disagree. And if you guys uh, wanna see some action, you know, get a little heat battle going on between us, go ahead and let them know. Tell them the channel name. Hey, I love 223 Bucky to death. Like, I don't know him personally, but I fucks with his channels heavy. He's so funny, he gives me inspiration. But let me tell you why that gun is not for a female. In a life or death situation, uh, someone runs up on you and like, you know, they wanna rob you or whatever. They're more at times more likely to see a print on you if you're carrying a bigger firearm than a smaller firearm. It's almost invisible. I've done comparisons with these in one of my other videos when I did the 45 Gen 5. Go check it out. You can see this gun more than this one, even though they both, you can barely see it. It depends on how you carry. If you appendix carry, you definitely gonna have a bigger print than this one. And if you carry on the side, you definitely gonna have a bigger print than this one. Hands down, because the ergonomics, the dynamics, and the dimensions, it's just, that's just how it is. Um, but that is why I think that this one is beat by this one. 45 Gen 5 MOS, 43X MOS. Other than that, which gun is better than the other? Hands down, hands down, I'm obviously gonna go with this one. The reason why I'm gonna go with the 19 MOS, I mean, as you were, forgive me, so sad that I just disrespected the hell out of this gun. But it's basically essentially 19, you know what I'm saying? It's got the 19 slide with the 17 frame, but it's the, uh, you know, the G Z generation, what they like to call it. But this gun is better than that one, hands down, because in general, because you got that amazing grip texture that you need. If you have small hands, you don't have to worry about like the extra space, like, like, like you would on here. You know what I'm saying? If you got big hands, then you got all the grip you need versus on here. Not only that, but you have a longer barrel, a longer slide, which means, uh, better and longer velocity and the better you can line up those iron sights with. Even if I had stocks, I was stock sights, I would still say this is better. That's just hands down reason why, but for concealed carry purposes, that one beats that. The 43X MOS definitely beats the 45 MOS and from a concealed, concealed carry standpoint. But when you got a red dot, then that switches the game. When you have that magazine there that I told you guys about, the Sig Arms, I think magazine carries like 15 or 17 rounds, just like this one does. Then with the red dot, they're both going to be kind of the same, except it's going to have a little bit more velocity along the yards because that longer barrel by a few. Not a major difference, but they're going to fly at the same, you know, velocity and distance and uh, per second. I love it. Both two outstanding, amazing firearms. I cannot honestly say which one beats which hands down, like just straight up like, oh, this is better than this one. Because they're both get the job done. They save your life in a life combat scenario, God forbid, and they both are Glock. Can't hate on Glock. You guys ask me, why do I have so many Glocks? Because I love Glock. I've been amazed with Glock ever since. I've always wanted one. Even when I got the G2C, I wanted a Glock. Could I afford it at the time? Yes, but I decided to start off easy in the gun game and over the years now you guys see them blowing the channel up i'm telling you y'all see my story time video with one of my glocks y'all even know i have the 45 because i did a gun review of the regular 45 with my ar and the g2c and i saved it for last and the video got cut short but now you guys see what we're rocking with so we're wrapping this video up if you guys really enjoyed this content and we're just gonna do some comparisons more. So you guys obviously see, you can see what you wanna get a feel for. You can really see what you wanna get a feel for just by watching this video and uh, your preference. I recommend that if you do get a Glock 43X MOS, you might as well get a Glock 45 or Glock 19 or 17. So you have a big size for a duty gun and a smaller size for a concealed carry. Uh, that's just my recommendation because simply at one point you're going to want something that holds more or you don't have to do that. If you just, you know, get that magazine, it's going to be a little pricey, but you get that metal mag, well, uh, mag release and you're good. You're set. Might not have to, you know what I'm saying? 
you know, but it's up to you. I'm not going to tell you or judge you if you get either or. I can't hate. And as for the 223 Bucky comment when he said he feel like the Glock 43X and small size handguns are for females, I disagree respectfully, brother. The reason why I'm telling you I disagree is because people like A. Dede, he, he said he loves carrying this gun like when he had it in his video. I think he had the, just the regular X. Uh, he didn't have the MOS. He even had the 43 version, and now he loves the 19 because, yeah, he gets a little bit more change, uh, a little bit more for the change he spent. But if you did that simple customization and they came out, it still is just equivalent to a 19. Um, but the reason I disagree is because no gun is made for a female unless it's specifically just made for a female, which I don't think people make guns just for, you know, gender sexes, and I don't judge anything. But the point I'm trying to make is they all get the job done. And this could potentially save your life better than this. They could see you carrying this and like, hey, like, what's that poking out of his jeans? Like, I'm me, I was born and raised in the hood. Unfortunately, I had to because my mom had a lot of kids and, you know, she took care of us all and did what she had to do to keep us in a safe environment. And she kept us out the streets. But people die every day. People run up on you and want to rob you and shoot you just because. Imagine like me. I'm a legal, certified, concealed carry American citizen. And I do what's right to protect this country in the name of God. Someone runs up on me and they just happen to see me with this. Just so happen, what are the odds? There's a higher chance they're going to see this print than this, depending on how you move. We have the means when it's safe and effective to do so when their guard is off to get the draw on them quicker with this because the time it takes to get out that dang on holster and get it up. Even if you hit one of those Winston Churchill secret army shots, pull out a holster and shoot from right here from the waist. You're going to do a faster job with getting out and shooting with this than you will with this only because of that few inches on there and because that's poking out. But you're going to have a better grip when you go to get this too, depending on the type of holster you're carrying. So that's why I recommend if you get a Glock and you decide to go with a subcompact, get the subcompact version 43X MOS and get that mag extension. Uh, I mean, that mag subcompact sig arms or some crap, whatever it is. And I'm sorry I didn't have it in the video for you guys. I apologize, but I will show you all in the next video that I do on a review for just this. This does not come with back straps. This one does. It comes with back straps and where do I put them? Put them right here. I already have some on it because I needed that thumb grip. I don't like when I shoot and it gets like right here on my hand and cut because sometimes I hold a high grip. But I truly, really hope you guys loved and what and like this video. I love the fact that you guys come by and you watch. And if you're new to the channel, thank you for stopping in and watching. God is so good. I don't mean to judge on anyone's religious beliefs or anything for making that statement. And I respect everyone's religious beliefs. But he truly is. He's brought me a long way to be able to get these videos to you guys, to be so consistent and dedicated to giving you guys these videos. I love the fact that y'all spend y'all's time out y'all's day to come and watch. And then this is for like people who might want to buy a gun. So if you might want to buy a gun, you don't know what to get. And you just so happen to stop by Glock, you made the right choice because it's going to be rock, solid, hard, and top. So go ahead and go with it. And I'm not going to shit on any other gun brand because Sig makes wonderful guns. Tars makes wonderful guns. Go ahead and check out this next video after you get done watching this if you have the time and energy today. If not, get some sleep. God will be good to you. And see the G3 Toro versus the Glock 45 MOS and what the price budget is for the penny you paid for the durability that you'll get and what I personally recommend. It's your boy Kyle TV, Shot Squad Life. I'm out. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next one. Love you guys. Catch you on the flip.